So uh, just sharpening up a few Cayugas. Uh, these are the new single bevel heads. Uh, a lot of people seem to think you can't get a razor edge on a single bevel head or it's too hard. So a lot of people just tend not to use them. Uh, but hopefully I can show you a quick and easy way how I do it. And um, yeah, really gets the razor edge real easy. So I've just got a short bit of carbon, uh, one of the broken arrows uh, with an outsert. Uh, it's only probably about 10 inches long. Um, all I use is just a good mill file. Uh, I seem to find the, the finer uh, the cut is, the better. Uh, good knife steel, so like an F stick. Uh, don't use those rubbish diamond sharpening ones. They just don't seem to work too well. Uh, they, they get them sharp, but not uh, sharp enough because they seem to be too coarse. Yeah, so basically, I just grab the file and just draw, draw file it. So we'll just do one side. Um, this is a, a new head. They come pretty sharp out of the packet, but not super, super sharp. What you can do is out of the packet, just put them straight on a knife steel, like you normally would sharpen a knife, and that brings them up to a great edge. Uh, but um, after you've shot that, that broadhead tent, it's pretty hard to get a back razor sharp again, especially if it's hit the dirt, all that sort of stuff, especially on that angle, because uh, it usually wears that, that edge down. So the best way to do it, I found, is just get a file, put it on a bench or somewhere, hard like that, and just draw it. So just get it flat. Make sure your file stays clean. So that's pretty close there. But you just got to keep in mind when you draw file it that sometimes there can be a bit of a gap in the middle where it actually hasn't reached the edge. So you got to keep going until that, that full edge has been covered. So now that's extended that edge there. It's uh, nearly about the twice the width. If you can see that. Anyway, so now it's got a, you'll feel, it's got a nice little burr on the backside. Uh, you don't want it a heap, you only just want a fine little burr, but it must have a burr the whole way, because that means that you've reached the edge. So now all I do is, with the same file, you just want to work the back of it gently. So you're pretty much just trying to fold that that edge back over and you flip it back over the side you've just filed and just slightly touch it up. So what you're trying to do is just to weaken that feather, just work it over a couple of times. I've always found too when I do it to finish on the actual beveled side with the last swipe. So that there's pretty much razor sharp now. Uh, if you like a burr, a lot of people do, uh, especially shooting pigs and rooster and that and anything that wallows in the mud, buffalo, uh, you can leave it like that and because that feather has been folded over a few times it should be pretty weak and uh, the, the head should be razor sharp once that feather peels off. Or what you can do, there's other options, there's a bit of leather, uh, you can either strop it a lot of people like stropping, um, but me personally, just as easy, I just use a, a knife steel. And uh, I've already sharpened knives on a knife steel, so it's a bit easier for me. And you just work that side, like you normally would. Until you can feel that burr start to disappear.
No words finish on the bevel. Hotly. That's it. Should be sharp enough there. Oh no. Yeah. So that's just piles of hair. No worries. Um, so yeah, that's it's a bit easier to hard to see. But yeah. So it's actually hair popping sharp. So a lot of people when they sharpen their head, you, you see them pushing a broad head super hard to get the cut hair. In hindsight, if it's razor sharp and it's hair popping sharp, you should only just have to touch it and it should click off. So uh, what you can do after that, if you want to get real, oh, real fancy, just use your, your bit of leather and strop it a few times and that'll really uh, put that edge right in the centre there. So you can do that a few times if you really want, but it's not super necessary. And that edge will be, yeah, you can see that here just... Half my arm is coming in, yeah. So that's the best way to do it. I uh, just repeat the other side. Then what I like to do is I've got a just one of these broadhead cases. A trick that Greg Hilton taught me. A bit of WD-40 uh, and just yeah, spray your head. Just a couple, of, just a couple of sprays, and that oil in there will keep it razor sharp for ages. Then I'll just pretty much close this case up. This case has got foam in it and it's full of oil and shit from every other time I've done it, so uh, it works a treat. And just close her up and when you go away hunting, you got a box full of razor broadheads. Um, any questions, just hit me up. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, it doesn't take long to do. Uh, it's pretty slow just for um, demonstration purposes, but it only takes me probably about, I don't know, two or three minutes to do a razor sharp broadhead both sides so uh, and certainly benefit the razor sharp broadheads and uh, that's just the easiest way I've found to do it with single bevel heads. Good luck.